First and foremost, I would like to apologize because it's been a hot minnow toe since I've uploaded a back workout. But great news, today's workout, it's gonna kill ya. It is hot fire flames. It is straight, hot, fire, it's fire. Your back's gonna be on fire, is what I'm saying. This is a dumbbell only back workout that is going to be great for my beginners and amazing for my more advanced girls as well. I hope that you guys enjoy, go get it. Go grow your back muscles. Nothing's more beautiful than a sculpted back on a woman. Am I right? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a workout with Wit again. Without further ado, let's get into the workout. We are starting this workout with a awesome, phenomenal, challenging warm up. This is wide grip lat pull ups. Now, if you're looking at me like, girl, you crazy, have no fear. Grab yourself a thick resistance band, wrap it around the bar, and we are going to use it to support us. You will be very surprised how much it will help you. I went from being able to do three of these without the resistance band. Add the resistance band, I can knock four sets of 10 out, no problemo. A lot of gyms also have an assisted pull-up machine that would be awesome to use in this situation as well. Now that our warm-up is complete, we are moving on to a single arm dumbbell row. Now you're probably very confused like, girl, why are you down on your knees like that? Use a bench. Well, let me tell you something. This has dramatically changed my dumbbell row. I want your chest to be at a 45 degree angle. Keep your core tight, keep your elbow pinched to your side as you pull the dumbbell up and you will notice that you will dramatically have to reduce your weight because you are not using your body to pull the dumbbell up. This is a nice and slow controlled movement. Throughout this workout, I want you to slow down. Don't just throw your weight around. Take it nice and slow and really focus on squeezing the muscles you are working. Moving straight into our first superset. A superset is two exercises completed back to back with little to no rest in between. This was a new exercise I learned recently. It's a reverse incline trap press. I want you to reduce the weight. I'm only using five pound dumbbells here. And let me tell you something, your traps will be on straight fire. Complete 10 reps and then we are going to move straight into our next exercise of the superset. We are now moving on to a crossbody single arm wide row. Woo! Have one arm placed on the bench in front of you to stabilize yourself. You want to be in a bent over position here. Start with your palm facing you and bring the dumbbell from the middle of your chest outwards towards your hip, contracting the lat muscle. Nice and slow, squeeze, connect the mind to the muscle. We are doing 10 on each arm. To take full advantage of this exercise, be sure to start with that dumbbell across your body and pull outwards, squeezing tight at the top. After you complete both exercises back to back, take a one to two minute rest and we are repeating the superset for three complete sets. We are now moving on to our second superset, which is our last superset before our burnout exercise. So once again, we are gonna repeat this superset three times through 10 reps of both exercise, starting off with a dumbbell reverse fly. Scoot your booty to the end of a bench, lean forward to a 45 degree angle, and raise the dumbbells outwards straight to the side. Emphasize squeezing your shoulder blades together. This is all about those upper back muscles. Moving straight into our next exercise, a rotating bent over rows. Start with your palms facing you as you bring the dumbbells up, squeeze your elbows close to your sides, rotate your palms in and squeeze those lats. Most of these exercises today did target our biceps, but I love ending a good back workout like this one with a phenomenal bicep burnout. That's what we're doing right now. And our last exercise of this workout is a burnout complex all about the biceps. So we are doing 30 
bicep curls here starting with outwards we're gonna do 10 outwards 10 forward 10 hammer curls right in a row yeah 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 sure I can I can curl a lot more weight than this but I want to ensure that I can make it through all 30 reps two times through so choose a weight that you will be able to do the same you don't want to overdo it where you can't do your last 10 reps at all so pick a weight that is challenging but you can make it through it moving into our last curl here it is a hammer curl your palms face inwards after you finish 10 here you are donezo with your first set <laughs> i gotcha we're gonna repeat this twice so all 30 reps rest for two minutes and repeat and then you are donezo with the whole complete workout i hope that you guys enjoyed this one if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to check the description box where i will leave all the information the 411 i love you so much thank you so much for watching bye